What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Man, I hope everybody's good. I'm good. I'm ready to ready to get this popping. Y'all know what I'm saying? Back with another Herbal Reactions, of course. So, <laughs> what are we watching today? Uh, Dimer, episode 7. Y'all been really showing love to the Dimers, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to just keep them coming. I mean, until I'm done with it, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 and I do got some uh, list of shows I'm going to be watching after this. Like The Midnight Club, uh, Peripheral, uh, Lord of Power, House of Dragons, Star Wars. <laughs> the whole nine, bro. I'm going to be watching the whole nine, man. So, um, if y'all have anything else uh, uh, y'all would like, to, like for me to... You know, react to, you know, give me some. If it's scary, if y'all trying to scare me, give me some. Give me some, man. You know, I don't, I don't get scared out here. But, uh, <laughs> let's just hop into this Dimer uh, episode 11. Or, <laughs> I said 11. 7. 7 11, man. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. You gonna call? You gonna call? You see that phone? Call him. I'm, but I, I understand why she she is hesitant because one, they was there trying to get that nigga before. They didn't even even try to you know. They ain't do shit. I'd have called the fucking cops. What the fuck is you doing, lady? What the fuck? This ain't real. She didn't go to that damn door like that. You stressing me out. You trying to look through the peephole? For what you did, you should be tortured. They still got them old ass cars, man. <laughs> that's that's the funny part. Sorry, I had to laugh at that. It's not even a laughing matter. Ma'am, U.S. Police Department says the suspects and all residents to evacuate for our investigation and their safety. What? crazy how people like studios keep all this old shit for authentic oh my god He ate his victims. <laughs> First kill was in Ohio. 
Her last name was Cleveland. Suspend? Oh, fuck. Fuck the press. And fuck you and the damn police for that shit. What? No, you fucking don't. Fuck you. What the fire this bitch? Don't be sorry. How how do you be a lawyer to somebody like that? I had my reservations about you getting involved in this case. Go with that, you can marry her. <clears throat> Ryan King has a passion for moral right. And injustice is one hell of a beast. Yes, it is. You're right about that. Look at them. Look at them black men, man. Why can't we be like that, man? Walking up on them people like that in suits. Bad policing, underserved communities, the low value we assign our young black and brown men. What? Okay. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah. What, another one? Right. Well past that. Police brutality. Now, I know I'm failing Gloria and I owe her. Where you 
Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Bro, I ought to say, yes, yeah, active. Someone's getting hit right now. Yeah. They don't. Our people don't even listen no more. That's what we need to hear. Mostly always taking it for money for their next fix. Now, this crack is out of control. Most of the people in this building are good and decent. Now, you do have a big candy character that you got to look out for. Well, I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Linda. You have a good one. You too, Dad. Oh, shit. Hi. So it's 
Listen, that's my story. I'm really sorry. Okay? And if you pick up the complaints, I promise I won't cook anymore. No, Jeff. It's Dana. Right? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I just... Now, come inside just for a sec. Why? Because I got a cleaning crew in today. They cost me $49, which I don't have because I just got fired. So I just want to see if I was still stinking up your place. Okay? Well, I know she survives this, but... You tell me where he is, I'll take back the complaint. I know where he is. All right, then. We're moving out. Get the sandwich from me to play. I'll eat it later. I want to see him play it. See if you like it. I thought you was about to eat that shit, bruh. Don't eat it. Get out of my house. Ooh. That'd be fucked up to hear, bro. Hello, this is Linda. Can you please send an officer to the Oxford apartment? What's the emergency? Well, I, I, I think there's a, a fight going on next door. Somebody is getting hurt. Can you go make sure? What the fuck? That woman is traumatized. She probably remembers every last scream. As the like to think about like in like if I was one of the family members I don't I don't know if I'll be against this movie being out or with it because one I I don't I haven't been in this uh, situation at all I don't know how that feels at all I'm just an outsider looking in and it's like I can see why they would say no but I can also see why they would say yes as well so It's fucked up, bro.
Yeah, let it all out. That makes me want to cry. I'm not even going to fake, bruh. is so fucked up on so many levels man so many levels uh for her to listen to every last fucking kill in that house every last person yelling no stop it hurts or um like, no, please, not, no, no, like, some shit, you know, you know, real life people doing that shit. She had to hear every last one of them. And then hear him take pictures. And then saw the bodies apart. That's fucked up, bro. Then have to, man, having to smell that vat of acid with all them bones in it. Then having to smell the smell of burning human flesh. Don't know what that smell like. I don't want to know what that smell like. I don't want to know what human flesh tastes like either. Like, what the fuck? And she had to endure that. Not only her. Everybody in that um, apartment, basically. But she was right next to all that shit. And it was coming through that vent. I wonder if it, it, the vent was exactly in that spot and it was coming through that vent like that. That is some heavy duty bullshit, bro. My heart goes out to all them families, man. This is this is an eye opener for real. That's why I'm not t really against this this series, but. Without them telling the families, that's one thing. You know, that's that's a whole different subject. I think they should have been like, yeah, we're going to be making this shit. And at least give them something. You know what I'm saying? Something. 10% of whatever you, you know, then split that up with the how many families. I don't know. Give them something. And not no measly thousand. I'm talking about like, y'all make, make millions, billions off this shit. If you gave a, each family a million dollars. It, I, I'm not saying that would do a anything good or anything, but that would be way better than doing what they did. That's all I'm saying. If they was going to do anything, that would have been a better option. Instead of not telling the families and just making millions off of their fucking story. And not and them not getting shit. So, I mean, if they want to take them to court, hey, I take them to court. Y'all might get a big ass settlement of like three hundred and forty five million dollars. They might shit. Three hundred and forty five million. <laughs> Let's see if it happens, bro. They if it happens, y'all can coin that right there. They be like, he knew before everybody. Yes, I did. <laughs> Well, I hope y'all liked the reaction. If you did, like and subscribe and uh, um, comment. You know, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this episode. And um, join the Patreon. The whole um, I'm getting all the uh full. Of, uh, I can't even talk. Join the Patreon. I'm don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> uh. Yeah, all my Patreon people, this is for you because I high as fuck a little bit. But yeah, join the Patreon. <laughs> and I'll see you again. Thank you for watching. Deuces.